Hey folks, Dolph Andale here. Just um, going to do a heavy metal hard rock update. Uh, before I get into that, let me remind you, I have a contest running, 2020 Change the World. I've only got one entry. Now, I know I'm terrible at making contests, but if you go to that video and all of my rambling makes you confused, just go to the very end of the video. I kind of put a concise... Uh, what I'm looking for, and there are a lot of caveats. I mean, you make a video, you're pretty much going to get in. Um, the only thing I forgot to say in that is leave me a comment in the original video telling me that you've got a video up. Okay, 40 bucks. Right now, the deadline's the ninth. Will I extend it? I'm not sure, uh, but uh, that's where we're at. So let's get on with this update. And let me talk a little bit about doing these updates. Um, in the past, I would do videos called Special Day Deliveries. Just a pun, you know, as I'd get stuff in the mail. Um, I don't really like doing that. I, I kind of feel like sometimes I pick up stuff and I really don't. Uh, I don't always know uh, what it is. A lot of times, uh, other vinyl community members uh, will suggest albums, and sometimes I'll pick them up because I trust some people's judgment, especially when it comes to metal. You know, certain guys say, "Hey, this is really good. I'm I'm liable to try it." So when it comes in, I don't. I I feel funny holding up an album, saying, "Here, uh, I got this," and but maybe I'm not the most familiar with it. I'm just going off of a recommendation, maybe having heard a few sound samples on YouTube or something like that. So I really want to show things as I've spun them. So uh, I've got a lot backed up because I haven't done this in a couple months. Um, but I got 10 albums for you tonight and I've spun them all. So I know a little bit about them at least. And uh, let's get into it. All right, first up, this is uh, Blood Goods, uh, self-titled debut. Um, great Christian metal band. This is on Frontline uh, from 1986. Uh, and it is a great album. I've had... I've been listening to this for the better part of, what, three decades now? Great album. Uh, glad to have, I've had it on CD. Glad to pick it up on vinyl. There's the back. See that picture of the band? And the tracks. Really good stuff. I've enjoyed this. I I don't I have just about everything of Blood Good uh, on CD. Um, I only have two albums. I have this and Detonation on vinyl. So I'm glad to have this now. And I picked that up on sale. Another one I picked up on sale. Another early Christian metal band album, Barnabas, Feel the Fire. This is on Light Records. And it is all the way back in 84. So, one of the early, early Christian metal bands. Kind of unique, too, in that uh, lead singer, Nancy Jo Mann, is female. Didn't see a, a whole lot of that uh, that early in the game. And certainly not in Christian circles. But, um, yeah, Barnabas, uh, they they did, I've got everything of theirs on CD, and just a couple on vinyl. Uh, I've got the two metal albums. Uh, they also did some more rock, kind of new wave type things. Uh, I like the metal stuff the best, so I'm glad to pick that up. Now, this next one, I remember when the pre-order came out on it. I, I knew I had to snatch it up immediately. It's Deliverance. 
uh, Stay of Execution, Deliverance being one of my favorite bands. Extremely familiar with this. It was produced by Terry Scott Taylor, who actually is not a metal musician. He is principal songwriter for uh, the uh, Christian alternative band Daniel Amos. There's the, uh, how about that vinyl on purple? Vinyl. I'll be honest with you. If it were, had been me making the decision, I would have made that uh, vinyl green. And I would have made it the green, the kind of green you see here on the cover. Um, let's see if I pull that out. It'll show up a little better. There you go. I would have made it that kind of green. I just think it, it would have popped more. But, now, I'm not complaining. I'm just glad to see all of Deliverance stuff. I have most of their, their discography on CD, and, and thanks to uh, Rocks Records, and, and, well, actually, this is uh, retroactive, uh, but thanks to these companies doing these represses, I think I have most of what they their albums on uh, vinyl now. Wait a minute. Let's see here. I haven't even been checking for inserts. Yeah, there's a good insert on this one. So, that's Deliverance Stay of Execution. Probably a, well, no doubt, the top five metal band for me. Next up, man, this... I love this album. Mass Fighter. Uh, most of my listening to Mass has been Voices in the Night. This was a kind of a lost album or a album that kind of got shelved due to uh, rights. Glad to have this. Glad it got fi finally got put out on white vinyl. Uh, this thing is killer. Uh, Scott and Waters and some of the guys have been saying, you know, if, if Mass had gotten to release this back when they made it, they would have been a lot bigger. I don't doubt that. This is a killer album. Absolutely. That came out on No Life Till Metal. Next up, Magdalene, Big Bang. I jumped all over this when it came out on pre-order. Uh, one of my favorite uh, metal albums uh, came out, to, I think it came out when I was back in college. Um, Ken Tamplin. Uh, who has been in Joshua and then uh, Shout and then Lanny Cordella of House of Lords. There's Ken. There's Lanny. And uh, I think this originally came out in 1992 on Intense. Yeah, it would have been when I was in college. I played this I was still have the disc. I wear it out. It's a great album. Um, glad to see it come out on vinyl. Mine does have a couple sp splits at the top and at the bottom. Uh, the companies that have been putting out these limited run vinyl uh, records have promised that uh, they are addressing that. That that will not be happening on future releases and I appreciate them addressing it this came out on a green vinyl a marble kind of a marbleized green with yellow centering custom centerings good looking record and the the splits aren't aren't that bad uh, you know, but when 
when you are getting them brand new, you kind of like to have them mint. So I'm glad that the companies are addressing that. Uh, here was a couple I picked way back up on Record Store Day. That is The Runaways, live in Japan. Came out on repressed on Mercury. Uh, got the OB strip. And of course, probably everybody's seen this, but the uh, long picture and gatefold. This spun this. Probably a lot of people are a lot more familiar with this than I am, but uh, of course I, I I love Joan Jett and Lita Ford, so I knew I wanted this and put it on, and it didn't disappoint. It's a killer album. Uh, next up, Ace Fraley live. Now I looked it up. From the packaging, you might think that it was uh, the Live Plus One, a vinyl issue of the Live Plus One. But that was, Live Plus One was uh, recorded in Chicago, and this was uh, recorded at the, what do they call it, the Hammerstein Elodian or something like that. I'm probably butchering that name. Hammersmith, the Hammersmith Odeon. And, uh, yeah, that, I believe that's over in London. So there's the back. I shouldn't have even attempted to say that without looking at it first. But, um, there it is, orange vinyl. Nice addition. I love Ace Fraley, my favorite member of KISS. Next up, Michael Sweet, 1994. This was his solo debut. They've just now put it out on vinyl. This was, I think I bought this from the Striper website. This is a killer album. It's got kind of a matte finish, whereas this is, the name is a little glossy and the title's a little glossy, but the rest of it's kind of matte. And it came out on a red and black marbleized, or I don't know, would you consider that marbleized or uh, splatter or just kind of see it there? Gorgeous record. And it's, it, it's a killer too. I love this record. There's some songs on here that are just smoking. And finally... No, I have two more. Uh, this one is Ritual Servant. Now, I watched Scott Waters' Best of 19, or 2019. This got a high ranking. Uh, on on that In that video, I'll put a link to the video. I won't spoil where it came in at, but, uh, but it got a high ranking, and I thought, really? Because... I wasn't familiar with Ritual Servant at all, but I thought if Scott liked it that much, I need to get it, and so I did. <laughs> and this was on the limited run vinyl as well. It is, you know, to the best of my knowledge, it's the only one that wasn't a repressing of a much earlier album. This is this. To the best of my knowledge, this came out this year. It does have an insert. Uh, this came out on Rox Records. Uh, Ritual Servant. I guess that title is Metallum 
Evangeli. Has a kind of has hints of early Metallica. Is, that's what it sounds like to me. So, and then finally, this was recently come in. Triton. I guess that's pronounced Silent Tiger. It's spelled funny. But uh, I guess that's w the way they're pronouncing that, Silent Tiger. I thought the packaging on this was really incredible. Uh, there's the back. And like that, like that, uh, the uh, inner sleeve. Like that collage look. Scott does a good job with that stuff. Lyrics. And the vinyl, I think, is gorgeous. Uh, just perfect for, you know, the, the cover having that, that uh, large uh, tiger uh, motif going on it. And then look at this. That's Triton, Silent Tiger, and I think that vinyl is gorgeous, and it sounds great too. Um, it's metal, but I, what struck me when I played it, I believe this was the one, I'm pretty sure this is the one where the, the, um, the vocalist, yeah, sounds like uh, Getty Lee of Rush. but it is a metal album so anyway those are the 10 that i have to show you on this update i have i have more but uh, i'm going to spin them first and i'll be bringing them to you as i get through them um and i i hope uh i hope by doing more um genre specific videos I, i'm kind of helping people decide what videos they want to watch and which ones they don't. Uh, so that's kind of the purpose of doing that. So there you go. Uh, hope everyone's having uh, a great weekend or week, wherever you're at. When you see this video, hope you're having a great day and we will see you soon.